Texas fishermen are messing up big time because of this one thing, man. Whenever late November, early December rolls around, everyone just forgets about fishing. And I don't know why it happens because this time of year is the time of year to break some PBs and catch a bunch of limits. So today we will be fishing all day. We got some live shrimp in the bucket, a bunch of rods and some big lures to throw as well. We've got the string in the backpack as well, so we might be keeping some fish. We're starting out the day jetty fishing and we will probably end the day jetty fishing as well, man. Let's get them, boys. That's a red. We're starting off with some of these beautiful, beautiful live shrimp. I actually got, I don't know if I got too many or they just gave me extra, but got the simple Carolina rig rigged up, about maybe a half ounce egg sinker to a swivel, our leader, and then a circle hook to our shrimp. What we're looking for in the surf, I mean, it could be a ton of reds, could be trout, sheep's head. I'm not sure if there's any mangroves around, but everything else should be here. Oh, there's a bite. Hook up, hook up. Oh, he might not even got it. Nope, he dropped it. Son of a gun. Nope, he's there. Oh, it's a little red. Dang. <laughs> Usually reds run towards the boat. They don't always run towards the jetty though. And that's exactly what this guy did. It went completely slack. Crazy. Huh. Of course it's a dinker. This is what winter fishing is, boys. Giants like this guy. Oh. Chill out, buddy, chill out. Oh, he got it. Uh. Damn it, he's bleeding. That's sad. Well, unfortunately, I would love to keep that guy, but he's not even gonna make it, fellas. <clears throat> Sorry, little fella. Those are the guys we're looking for, just a little bit bigger. Right now, we are just looking for slot redfish, 20 to 28 inches, but later today, we might be going for the giants, for the new PB. Sheesh, he got chomped, boy. That might've been a good fish, Probably maybe cheaper, I don't know. There's a bite. There he is. Oh, that's a sheeper. We just had a red on, now we got the sheeper. I'm telling you, I think this is, these are some of the guys that are stealing all our baits. Since we were using a circle hook, switched up to a beak hook, and of course we hook up on the guys that's been stealing all our baits. Ooh, actually it's a little less bigger than I thought, man. Sheep's head usually fight pretty good. This guy did not fight so good. I'm trying not to get stabbed by one of his giant spines. Let's see, think that guy will make it. 16 inch sheep's head right there. Actually, that's a decent keeper. And these guys are definitely some of the fish that get a lot better, a lot better when it starts to get a little bit colder. That beak, beak hook worked actually perfectly. I just put my finger almost in his mouth. That could have been bad. This boy going straight down there. Perfect little spot for you to hang out. The beak hook right there might be the answer to those bait sealers. And if sheep's head are the bait stealers that are coming after us, that's fine with me, because these guys are tasty. Has he got it? He had it the whole time. Wow, that's a little whiting. Well, we're catching the species. <laughs> this is this is the other guys that were definitely going stealing our shrimps. Could have saved that for uh, cut bait, to be honest with you, but. There's a guy. What are we thinking? We thinking sheep or are we thinking red? I see him, so. <laughs> it's a sheep. Sheeper, sheeper, sheeper. This is why you can't always use circle hooks, man. Especially if you're running into sheep's head. Circle hooks are pretty bad for them. I mean, I'm not even sure there's any hook that can get them all the time, because look at this. Their teeth, their mouths are just filled up. Oh, their mouths are just filled up with those teeth. Look at that hook. It just barely got around that last set of teeth. Nice little guy. Just a little bit too small. He's going back to the other side. Sheep's head do have to be 15 inches or bigger to keep. But man, it, even if you think you have a small one, it's always a good idea to measure them because sheep's head kind of deceptive with how long they are. You might think it's 13 and a half, 14, ends up being 15 and a half. So usually I always like to measure them. But that guy was definitely too small. 
this guy is going to be... This next guy is going to be massive. There he is, there he is. There he is! Yep, there's got to be a bigger one. Let's find a little bit better. Man, it's just... I chose like the worst spot to land fish. Uh, I don't know, he might be small. The good thing is though, usually once you got them stuck on the hook, they're gonna be staying on. Yeah, another smaller guy. This is a very round fish. Ooh, look at that. Did he lose a fin? No, I just got... Damn. Interesting little... Interesting injuries on this guy. Check out that fish right there. It looks pretty small and don't get me wrong. It is How big do you think it is? We're about to measure that guy and that guy is right about 14 inches man That just looks so tiny, but what another inch and that guy would have been a keeper crazy I'm releasing these guys on the other side Just so they don't bite me again. Do you think that works? Or do you think they're swimming all the way around the jetty coming right back? Let's try a tail hooker There's a guy. Woohoo! Oh man, he's right in those rocks. We gotta go down and get him. Out of there. Oh. Come here, big fella. Dang. We need to get into the bigger guys. Not these LGs. <laughs> these guys are like right on the edge of keeper size. They're nice. He's like, he thinks he's at the dentist. He's keeping his mouth wide open for me to get that hook out. Yeah. Dude, that guy's like 14.75. On some rulers, he might stretch for you, but even if he was 15, I would let him go. I want a little bit bigger ones than that. There's a fish on, what the heck? He is wrapped around the rocks or something. Woohoo! Man, this is crazy. How many sheepers are there? This is like, this is rivaling springtime sheep's head fishing, to be honest. They're just a little bit smaller guys. But they're biting like crazy. They're just like completely stacked up around the jetty. This guy might be a big, 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 big might be a little bit bigger. Hopefully he is, because that boy bleeding. My God. Look how fat that boy is. Look at the stomach on that man. Holy. Well, this guy's only about 15 and a half. I would release him, but he swallowed my hook. So good thing he's a keeper. He's going on the stringer. That's why I string my sheep's head. I go back through the gills instead of trying to go through the mouth first, because with those teeth, man, they can just clamp down shut and you cannot get that thing in there. Then there are two guys strung up looking good. Not even getting crabbed up yet. There he is. Oh, that's. What is this? This is trout. This is speckled trout, boys. I'm gonna go down for this guy for sure. We already got the sheepers. We don't need to keep any speckled trout. But that's freaking awesome to catch, even if it is another LG. Woohoo! Speckler. Definitely don't wanna be dragging these fish up on the rocks. It's probably the last species you want to drag up on the rocks. Sick to catch though, man. First one of the day. It's kind of a skinny boy, but we'll let him go. The cunning ruddy turnstone climbs rocks to feast on shrimp left by fishermen. What the bird does not know is Coop is hooked up on something here. Man, hooked up on something here. This is far out. He's fighting kind of goofy. Whoa, he's fighting pretty good though. That's a better one for sure. My God, Woo we're getting down in the rocks, fellas. That's a good one. Dang, that's a nice one, man. Biggest of the day for sure. Let's go, boys. There's finally an actually decent sheeper. That's a, that's actually a pretty dang nice one. Woo especially for this time of year. Man, it's crazy. The sheep's head, they go absolutely crazy during spring. But this is the best sheep's head bite I've ever had outside of spring. All right, best one of the day. You know we got to do it. How many inches long do you think this guy is? Let's measure him. Right about 18 inches, but watch out. That guy will eat you. Three sheep's head 
that's more than enough for me. No reason to keep any more, but we're gonna use a few more shrimp here. See if we can get into anything else. Then we'll move on, see if we can catch any real monster fish. So I think we confirmed a lot of times when you get a shrimp back like that, you're probably dealing with some sheep's head. All right, we got our stuff together. We're moving down the jetties. We're looking for a fish the size of that boat right there. But we still have a few shrimp. There might be some monster trout around as well. We've got a few live shrimp left. Let's see what they can do down in this different spot. Some good looking rocks right here, so we'll try it out. Rock, rock. Pulled me off the rock, fella. Oh yeah, he got it, dude. A fish ate it right off the rock. And what do you know, sheeper, man. Moved all the way down here, and there's still sheep's head. That just goes to show how many there are. It's crazy, man, the bite for these guys is insane right now. Look, check out this guy, it's a, it's a darker guy. I think they can change colors. And it looks like these guys down here are staying darker. Looks like he got lighter color now. See ya, fella. What's that? Just sheep's head for me. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh, nice. That's how it goes. Yeah. Good luck, dude. Had to get lunch real quick at Texas Finest. Now, we're out here back at the jetty. Got the three ounce spoon tied up, ready to catch something big. Our very last gold spoon right here. I'm not sure there's anything I have in my bag to catch these giant fish with. So we gotta make it happen right here. There's a fish. Oh, there's a guy. Man. Woo. -hoo. My drag is so tight, boy. No, I see, he should be on there, he's on there. Dude. My drag is so tight, we're messing up big time. There we go. Woohoo! My God, if I didn't loosen it right, right now, we would've broke off on this fish. Dude, there's so many dolphins and different color water clarities right here. Just looks like such a good place to cast. He's on a rock, boy. He's on a rock and I do not like it. Get over it, buddy. Damn. We are now in the truck, man. Why? Because I rage quit, dude. And man, the redfish bite was actually good, dude. I just lost too many lures. Actually, I lost pretty much all of them. I really didn't have anything else left to throw. Not how I wanted to end the day, but man, you can't catch them on the couch, right? You guys gotta get out there. I love you guys very much. We'll see you guys next time. Do some winter fishing, dude. I'm gonna catch a new PB. At least one, either trout or redfish, this winter slash fall. Believe.